Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Fear Moho. Uh, doing a nice little dual commentary for you guys with uh, my buddy Fear Assassin. What's up guys? What's up, what's up? Uh, this match I'm bringing to you guys today is a match that we played for the WanFest tournament. Um, it is against 1E. They're supposed to be a really good top team. Um, so yeah, that's going to be the video I bring to you guys. But one thing I want to talk to you guys about is as you can see that when you watch this, I didn't do very well when it comes to kills. I think the final score was like 8 and 11. and um, But we ended up winning by like 30 points or 50 points or something like that. I really don't remember. Do you remember what it was? I have no clue. I just won this side. Yeah, we, we ended up winning by a lot. Um, but the point I want to try and make is a lot of people think that you have to just be some extreme kill whore if you want to win. You know, that's not that's not the case at all. Um, this video right here will explain to you guys that's not the case. Um, basically, uh, if you watch the video, you can see that I'm not really getting, I'm not having the luck when it comes to getting the kills. So when you're having a bad game, you're having a bad game no matter what. You know, it's, yeah. it, there's really nothing you can do about it. And instead of bitching about it, instead of bitching about me not getting the kills, I basically just try to become a flag whore, you know. I try to get the flags, I try to get them off flags and get the fens. I think I ended up with like five or six caps with like five or six defends, you know. And that's a lot of caps and that's a lot of defends no matter what. And I think my end score was 8 and 11. So that kind of just proves the point that when you're working not only for the kills and just mainly going for the flags, then you're definitely going to be... You know, making a difference for your team. Uh, would you agree? Yeah, another thing, like, when you're playing and if you are doing bad, you don't want to complain at all. You don't want to be like, oh, what the hell? What the hell's going on? I should have killed him, this and that. You just call everything out and stay calm and play to your best. That's all I could really say. Don't ever yeah. complain. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I agree 100%. I know um, this game, I really didn't do that. But I know a lot of the times, you know, I, I bitch a lot and stuff, and I think, um, I think this game was kind of like breaking me out of my shell of bitching a lot, and I think it definitely paid off. Um, another reason I want to show you guys this video is because, you know, as I've been saying in my past videos, fear has been kind of under the radar, and a lot of people want to see, you know, how we're getting along with our new member. That was pretty funny, by the way. Nice when team kill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that was some bad luck. But yeah, I wanna. Um, I want to just talk about our teamwork and chemistry and how well it's coming along, you know, because we've had a lot of team problems in the beginning of the game, but unlike Modern Warfare 2, we basically stuck with it and we stayed loyal, and I'm, you know, pretty happy to have Assassin back uh, to help me out with that, so it's definitely paying off. We're doing really well. This video can prove, you know, we're playing a top team, and we ended up beating them by a lot of points. Um, so, yeah, that's basically another you know, point I wanted to tell you guys in this video is uh, dedication, hard, wor hard work, and chemistry, you know, it all pays off in the end. Uh, Assassin, I wanted to ask you, because you did a pretty good job on this map. Um, what I do think you I think? I just broke even, but yeah. Yeah, but ahead. you still did a good job when it comes to, like, slaying them. I mean, yeah. there was times where you get triple kills and double kills and stuff, you know. Even if you break even, you know, it's not about the kills. So, um, wh what do you think about you know, playing with somebody who gets flags, like, and doesn't necessarily get all, all the kills all the time. Like, do you think it's good to have? Do you think maybe in the long run it, it works for one or two you know, matches? But when you're playing objective game types, whatever it is Dom, CTF, uh, but S and D, you know, kills matter probably more than CTF and Dom, but it's all about just getting the flags and holding that flag for as long as possible. It's not necessarily uh, going into the spawn and spawn killing and ctf is you know you could have like three flag caps and go negative 20 and still win so yeah i agree um what would you um so you're basically saying that you would rather team with somebody who's all about teamwork rather than team with somebody who's just like yeah, a straight like, up kill whore teaming with kill whores you know especially when you team with a kill whore all they do all they care about is getting kills you know, they care about getting kills more than winning, and that I hate that the most in players, so... Yeah, I think I think um, one of the points that needs to be brought up also is, you know, for in order for a team to be successful, 
you know, it's not about yourself. Sometimes you're going to have to make yourself look bad in order for your team to win, you know. And um, I know I don't really post up videos of me doing bad, and I kind of got inspired to do this video because somebody messaged me and was like, you know, hey, Moho, um, you know, I, I love watching you. You, get, you have some great footage. I just wanted to know, you know, do you ever have bad games? Um, this probably isn't the worst game, but it's definitely a game to show you guys that, you know, I did, I do not get a lot of kills sometimes, but the fact still remains that I'm doing, you know, work when it comes to getting flags. You know, I just helped my teammate get B, and I'm trying to set up right here on top control, uh, which is, this is bullshit, by the way, I'm not going to lie, this guy should have died, but he didn't. It's just, but this right here, that shot right there just kind of proves to you how much bullshit really is in Call of Duty, and that's why you can't let it get to you. So, you know, off this next, off that death right there, I'm going to go try and, I, I want to set up towards A, make sure nobody's near it, and then I want to go towards B and make sure we have that. When, you, when you're positive, see, like I stayed at A, that's a good thing to do. When you're positive, you have your home flag and you have the middle flag, that's when you want to try to make your way to C. Um, so, yeah, that's mm -hmm. something that you always want to look out for when you're playing Domination. You always want to have, you know, uh, map control. You always want to make sure you're around the flags. You always want to check your map, too. Uh, like, I see two people at B, so I'm going to sit here on the uh, bottom control and the nade spot and make sure that if my teammates die, I can get a nade off. And I want to stay close to A also, because if they get A, I can nade them off A. Um, yep. Assassin, what do you think about pushing for the three cap like I'm doing right now? Well, um, well, let me go over something real quick. I just want to mention those doors above B. Like, having the doors open when you have B is a lot and then you know when you have it open and you have B it's a lot easier to name them off B and when you don't have it you want to close the doors so it's easier for you to get B yeah, but it, pushing for a 3 cap is all about just at the right moment right time like say they're spawning factory you know they're trying to get flags they're going to A and B that's the time to get C not when they're all spawning by C yeah I, I definitely agree um Something you guys want to do also, you guys want to, say for instance you have A and B, and you know the team spawns back left factory after you just killed them. Something good to try to buy you time is to actually get on the C flag to go for the 3 cap and then get off of it for a good, like, m maybe touch it for like 3 or 4 seconds to make them think, make, convince them that you're getting the flag and get off of it. Because when you do that, you're going to stop them from coming to B and they're going to have to push back to C because obviously they don't want to get 3 cap. Um, we're coming to an end here. Uh, I just want to make my point clear that I will be posting another video of this, the second side, and I want to show you guys the difference of me not going for flag caps as opposed for um, going for flag caps. And as you can see, going for flag caps paid off. We won by a lot. And the second side, I pretty much did work when the kills, uh, on the kills. And so definitely you guys are going to see the difference when it comes to getting flags. And I ended up six and four or six captures and four defends, which is really good. And uh, make sure you guys subscribe, rate, and comment. And I'll post the next video up either tonight or tomorrow. Yeah, and I just want to say, Moho, thanks for having me on this video. And uh, subscribe to my new channel, Assassin TV. And that's about it, guys. Yeah, you guys can definitely check out his channel in the description box. Subscribe to him. He's posting up great gameplay. Um, yeah, until then, see you guys later. Peace. Peace.